I took my car to this extreme because I want to stand out. I want to be unique. I can only turn my steering wheel about 180 degrees max. So try to avoid all U-turns as much as possible. Lowering this car definitely changed the way I drive. This ride's look is inspired by the car scene in Japan. It's a combination of two different styles. The shakotan, meaning lowered cars with stretch tires. And they have the onikyan, which is the demon camber, which is the crazy amount of camber that you see here. And also the bosozoku, which is where I get my crazy exhaust from. Most of the lowered cars that you see here are bagged. So they have air suspension to allow them to get super low to the ground. Akila's ride is very different. His suspension is fixed, so he drives just one inch off the ground. What it's like to drive this car is pretty crazy. Obviously a really bumpy ride because the suspension has to be really stiff because of how close the wheels and tires are to the frame and the fenders of the car. This car's styling might not make for an easy ride, but Tequila's commitment to getting the Subaru's look just right is what's driven the whole project. By following his dream, Aquila hopes to now inspire other drivers to do the same. I replaced the front and rear crash beams because they have a jacking point right at the bottom that allows me to jack up the car being this low to the ground. I'm running Work VSXX wheels. In the front, they're 18 by 12, negative 50, and the rear is 18 by 13, negative 63. With the wheels running this amount of excessive camber. Camber is the word used to describe how much tires tilt in or out of the vehicle. And these lean inwards at negative 50, which is a lot. It actually only runs on the sidewall. So one side gets all wore down like this, you can actually flip the tires and utilize the other side. I've never seen anybody run this type of quad blast pipes. At the bottom we have the gold ISC suspension rear lower control arms. Those allow me to adjust how much camber the car has. I have those maxed out all the way. On top of the strut in place of springs, I have hockey pucks and washers to get the super stiff spring rate to run a super tight fitment so that the wheels don't hit and break my fiberglass fenders. Here we have the out of system slant series camber plates. These allow me to get negative six to negative eight degrees of camber. It pushes the top of the strut in, which helps tilt the bottom of the wheel out. With the way the car is right now, it's just made for car shows and weekend drives pretty much. I go out with my buddies on the weekends and we drive around, take pictures, and just cruise around. And when it's out on the street, this ride sure does divide opinions. Some think it's pretty stupid, some think it's awesome, some say that it's complete garbage. I get lots of different opinions about my car, but it doesn't matter because I love it. I built it the way that I love it. To the people that say I didn't like my car, honestly, I don't care because it's not their car, it's mine. I don't care what they say. I get hate every day for my car and it just inspires me more. My plans for the car in the future is Definitely new wheels, so I want to go crazier. I want to go wider wheels with more negative offset, and I definitely want to go lower.